This is video 3 in the AC theory unit and in this video we're going to look at adding the phasors by calculation. Now we saw in video 2 that a phasor was really just a rotating vector and we can use them to describe voltages and currents and other electrical quantities. So like we said before they have magnitude but they also have angular rotation. Now we're going to look at the same um, calculation that we did graphically. So we've got our 6 amps in phase, 5 amps lagging by 90 degrees, and 8 amps at an angle of 50 degrees. And we're going to look at each phaser in turn. So the first one is our 6 amps in phase. What we're going to do is find out the in phase value and the quadrature component. Now when we looked at vectors, we talked about horizontal for in phase, and we talked about vertical, which will now be our quadrature component. So 6 amps in phase, the quadrature component, which is our vertical, is going to be 6 times the sine of the angle. Now there is no angle because it's it's straight line. It's in it's in um, it's along the reference line. It's in phase. And so 6 times the sine of 0 gives us 0 amps, which is what we'd expect. There's no vertical component. But we do have a horizontal component, and basically it's all horizontal. 6 times the cosine of 0 is 6 amps, and you can check that on your calculator. The um, vertical phasor, we've got 5 amps at minus 90, so we're going to do the same calculations. The quadrature component will be 5 times the sine of minus 90, and we get minus 5 amps which makes sense because all of that phasor is going down and as we'd expect there's no horizontal component 5 times the cosine of min minus 90 gives us 0 amps. The 8 amps that's at 50 degrees, now this is going to have both a in phase component and a quadrature component. So there's our quadrature and there's our in phase the quadrature is going to be 8 times the sine of 50, and it's going to give us 6.13 amps. And our in phase is going to be 8 times the cosine of 50 to give us 5.14 amps. So that phaser has two components. So if we look at all the components of the three phasers, there's our 6 amps in phase, there's our minus 5 amps and there's our two components of the 50 degrees. And what we're going to do is add up all the quadrature components and add up all the in phase. So the quadrature we've got 0, minus 5, plus 6.13, which gives us 1.13 amps. And the in phase we've got 6 plus 0 plus 5.14 to give us 11.14 amps. And what that does, it forms a new triangle. So we've got the quadrature of 1.13 up, and we've got in phase 11.14 across. And that gives us this triangle here. We can find the resultant using Pythagoras. We square both sides, add them together, take the square root. It gives me 11.2. We can find the angle using cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse, 11.14 divided by 11.2 gives me 0.9946, etc. If we do the inverse cosine of that, we get 5.93 degrees. So a very shallow angle. There's our final answer, is 11.2 amps at an angle of 5.93 degrees.